The Department of State Services, DSS, has called on Sunday at Deyemo Igboho to turn himself to security officials as the agency confirmed it has launched a manhunt for the Yoruba Nation agitation. DSS spokesman Peter Afunanya said this in a press briefing on Thursday evening in Abuja while confirming a raid on Igboho's house in Ibadan, Oyo State, by the security agency. Liberty News correspondent Mariam Zakari is with the details. Afnai noted that the agency captured 13 of Ibuho's men and advised him to turn himself to the nearest security agency, noting that those cheering and eulogizing him should appeal or advise him to do the needful. Soon, he will not have a hiding place. His strength will sure fail him and the law will catch up with him. The law may be slow, but indeed it will be steady. Consequently, Adeyemo or Iboho is advised to turn himself into the nearest security agency. Those cheering and eulogizing him may appeal to or advise him to do the needful. He should surrender himself. He said that the DSS recovered a cache of illegal arms, including seven AK-47 rifles from Igbo's house during the raid carried out on Thursday morning. Seven AK-47 assault rifles, as you can see on display. Three pump action rifles, they are also there. 30 fully charged AK-47 magazines. 5,000 rounds of 7.62 mm ammunition, five cutlasses, one jackknife, one pen knife, two pistol holsters, one binoculars, a wallet containing five US dollars and one dollar denomination, local and international driver's licenses in his name, ATM cards, a German residence permit number Y02N6K1NY bearing his name, two whistles, 50 cartridges, 18 walkie talkies, three voodoo charm jackets or traditional body armor, two laptops, one Toshiba, and one compact and his international passport and those of many others. Afunaya narrated that when the security operatives approached the house, they were attacked by nine of Ibuho's boys who engaged them in gun dwell, but were subsequently overpowered. In the course of the exchange, two of Ibuho's armed men were gone down, while the rest were subdued and arrested. Only one operative, who was shot by the assailants on his right hand, sustained injuries. He has, however, received medical attention and is very stable. He, however, said Ibuho escaped during the gun battle and is currently on the run. Mariam Zakari, Liberty News.